most planets are round, and that's just something you don't really give much thought to, but it turns out Mars isn't as round as it could be. The southern hemisphere, on average, has a higher elevation than the northern hemisphere. So in other words, if you were to start on the North Pole and walk all the way around to the South Pole, you'd be walking uphill essentially the whole time. So we call this difference between the northern and the southern hemisphere, we call this the crustal dichotomy on Mars. And it's been one of the biggest mysteries of the planet. You know, it's the first thing that you see about it and you say, well, how could this possibly have happened? In 2008, scientists mapping the surface of Mars came up with an explanation for the massive dent in the planet shown in blue. This basin, the biggest in the solar system, had to be the result of a massive impact. Called the Borealis Impact, it blasted out a crater 6,500 miles wide and five miles deep, big enough to swallow the entire United States with room to spare. Something really big happened. In fact, the entire top half of the planet seemed to have practically been blown off. The only thing that can do that is a huge collision. And we're talking a collision with something the size of Pluto, perhaps. You're talking about an impact that makes the dinosaur killer impact 65 million years ago look pretty much like a wet firecracker. 4.5 billion years ago, the early solar system is filled with asteroid-like leftovers from the planet-building process that created Mars and the Earth. One of these asteroids is huge, and it's on a direct collision course with Mars. Any microscopic Martians have just seconds to live. The impactor is 1,200 miles across. And as it hit, the energy of the impact shakes Mars to its core. The entire planet wobbles like jello. As it came down, it would have been hitting into the surface of Mars as fast as a bullet out of a gun. And it would have slammed into the surface and sent a shock wave out that would have been bigger than any earthquake ever recorded. It would have been like a tsunami of rock coming out and tossing us out of the way. The impact is catastrophic. It blows nearly half the planet's surface into space and turns what crust remains into a boiling lake of lava. 